We are almost halfway through the season and it is going much, much better than expected. But today, we travel to top of the table Z, who are unbeaten in 36 games of football, going back over a year. Today, as we travel to the military academy, can we become the Z Destroyers in today's episode of Homeless to Hero? Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, and oh my gosh, what a game of football we have got today. We are 18 to 1 underdogs to get a result today against ZFC. So that should tell you some of the challenge that we have got in today's game. But just before we get into that, we're going to catch you up on what's been going on since we was last together. And first up is a little bit of news for our manager profile. Because as you can see over here in the top right hand corner, we have got a National C license. Huzzah! We have got our very, very first coaching badge. We just got that a few weeks ago in game. So very, very happy with that. Not too sure if the club are going to uh, allow us to take another one. But we're going to try and ask them right now. And then we'll see what they come back with. And what have they said? They're, they're, they're giving us it. That is a surprise. Considering how the finances are, which I'll show you now, that's a surprise. So, hopefully, in four months, we should have our second coaching badge. And that is a cost of £480, which doesn't sound much for a football team, but we've only got ten grand in the bank. And that's going down like a grand a month. So, very, very happy that they have given us that new coaching course. So, that is a little bit of a surprise. And now, like I said, since we was last together, it's not been going that well. You can see that we was last together for the game against Sabine Republic. We won that game 1-0. But then, since then, we've played four games. Not won any of them. We lost 4-1 to Sirs L. Lyon, who are 15th in the league. So that's a little bit of a disappointing result. We drew 1-1 with El Merica Port Said, who are 16th. So another disappointing one. Petrojet beat us 1-0. They're 6th in the league. So maybe, maybe a little bit expected, but... Again, disappointing. And then 1-1 against Nagum, who are 10th in the league. So maybe might have expected to get something out of that game. So a draw, maybe. But in none of these games did we really play that well. Especially this, this first one, the Sirs El Lyon game. We were just absolutely awful. And everything they hit just went in the back of the net especially during that 37 to 50 minute period, 13 minutes and three goals. And we only got one back when we were three nil down. So yeah, little bit disappointing. And Sarif Mansour, who is our youngster, who I really, really like, who I found in the reserves. Um, he's now played in six games for us, starting them all. If that stat would bugger off, that would be nice. So, yeah, he started in six games. He scored four goals, got one assist. I don't think we're going to be keeping hold of him for much longer as there are teams already circling around him. So, maybe after this game, we'll try and tie him down to a new contract. And so, yeah, that is how it's going for us. We are ninth in the league. 
on 16 points from 13 games. So today's game will be our 14th. So that puts us pretty much halfway in the league. And if we have a look at the media prediction, we was predicted to finish. That's changed. That has changed. We was never predicted to finish bottom. I don't know why that's changed. But, oh well, that makes it even better of an achievement, what we are doing then. If we were expected to finish bottom of the league, to be ninth is pretty good. I'm very, very happy with how it's going. But if we just have a look at our opponents today and their and their kind of uh, form. Like I said, 36 games unbeaten. And just look at all that green, all that, just all that unbeatenness. And like Suez FC, they put seven past Suez with one of their strikers getting one, two, three, four, five, six, getting a double hat trick in one game. And wow, you can see why. He's valued at 23.5k, 2.1k per week. And 6 1 there against Al Nazar. The same guy again, Nagrib. 1, 2, 3, 4 goals there. How many goals has he scored all season? Jesus Christ. Jesus flipping Christ. 9 appearances in the league. 18 goals. 2 goals a game. If I wasn't scared before, I'm very, 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 very scared right now, boys and girls. Please, please pray for us. This could be a murder. This could be terrible. Oh, no. I'm kind of regretting bringing this game to you now. You know what? We're going to jump into it. We are going to jump right into it before we look at any more of their results. Oh, my days. Okay, this is the team for today's game. We're going with the 4 4 2. We're going just a little bit cautious, just because, well, you know, 36 games unbeaten. I'm so scared. I am so scared. And so, Torfik in goal, Radwan on the left, Magdi, Haney are our two centre backs, Sammy on the right hand side. Ramadan, Abdul Hamid, Abdul Wahab and Rida are our midfield four. And then up top it's El Sayed and can Sarif Mansour pull off a miracle today? Hopefully if he scores a goal, you never know, we might have a chance. Okay boys and girls, we are in the dressing room. What do we do? Do we tell the boys we're big underdogs, let's go and cause an upset? Uh, yeah, I think that's what we do. No reaction. Absolutely no point to that. Well, brilliant. Okay, let's go pump fists again. Uh, I have faith in you. That's got a couple of people motivated. Let's try and do this. Let's try and do the old George Michael. Gotta have faith for faith for faith. It's been a while since I've said that on this channel. And so, we have now got one, two... Three, four, five players motivated. But we've also got one, two, three nervous. Mixed bag. Very, very much a mixed bag. Uh, prediction time. 27 nil to Z is what I'm predicting. Anything better than that would be a great result. Oh, first highlight of the game. And it's a free kick for Zed. El Sami with it. And thankfully... That wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be. Now, two minutes later, we are back in the game. Gondia back to El Sami. El Sami for them. And so, come on. He's coming forward down the left. We need to get this ball back. Oh, Nagreed's offside. He's offside. Oh, thank God for that. That would have been a nightmare start. And I think you can see here, he was quite clearly offside. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. I think I was closer to the blooming defensive line than that guy was. And now 15 minutes in, a lot of highlights so far. Ramadan getting the ball, goes to Sammy. Sammy plays it through, Ramadan on the wing, he needs to cross this in. 
and he has. Rido does not get his head on it. And now Antwi gets it away. And then, oh, no, 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 no. This has gone from possible ecstasy to possible disaster in no time. Now, Grieve with it and... Again, how on earth have we survived here? They are playing very badly so far. And now, Rida with the throw in. He he plays it back to his mate who goes long and, well, that goes to precisely nobody. And now I'm guessing this highlight is not over. That'd be a very disappointing highlight if that was it. And now, here we go. Hamid heads it away from their goalkeeper's kick. Gondaya with it. And now, come on, we need to close him down and win this back. Do not let the ball get into the box. Ah, surprised it's taken 18 minutes. I am very surprised it's taken that long, to be quite honest. But you see it here, Gondaya with the pass. And what a pass it was. Look at that. And Negrib does what apparently Negrib does. Are they saying this was offside? Because no. That was nowhere near offside. I never had any doubt about that one. 32 minutes in. We have gone a bit more positive just because we've done nothing in this game as of yet. And oh, that's, that's a good block there from our defender. But he's only gone to another man in black. El Sami to Lella. And Gondaya's in. Gondaya is in. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. And Radwan has just tackled the ball out of play. That could have gone anywhere from both opportunities there. Their shot. And our defender just tackling the ball. And now they've had a corner and it's gone away, thankfully. And now Al Saeed, play the ball. Play the ball forward, my man. Or not. Well, that's half time. I think we're fortunate to only be 1-0 down, if I'm going to be honest with you boys and girls. And because as you look at this, at the stats, they've had 12 shots to our 2, 3 on target to our 1, 0.88 xg to our 0.27, 54 percent of the ball. So we do need to change something up. What do we change? I'm not quite sure. I think maybe, maybe just long ball it. I th I think we just long ball it. Distribute to target man. Distribute quickly. Uh, let's go. Let's go passing directness of more direct. Focus play through the middle. And I think that is going to be good. So let's see if that's going to make any change as we do go into the dressing room. I think I'm going to say we're not doing badly at all. Just lie to the players pretty much. Again, no reaction. What is it with these people today? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we want, boys and girls. Or not. We've got one, two, three players inspired and motivated. We've got Abdul Wahab, who is motivated. But we have got Ramadan, who's nervous and is on a 6.3. Do we take Ramadan off? If we're going to change anyone anywhere, it is going to be someone on the right-hand side. Uh, Mustafa Meha. I don't think we've played him too much. Uh, we've got one. We've got two. Mm, I think I think we go Reader. I or or, or do we go Mansour? Uh, no, no. We are going to go Reader. We're going to get Reader on the pitch, and we're just going to go bog standard normal wingers, and then just hope. Hope, hope that we can maybe get a draw. It is only 1-0, so you never know. So, come on, Coca-Cola FC. First highlight of the second half. It's Torfik just lumping the ball long. Mansour nods it down. It's gone to Rida, and well, that's a poor pass. But maybe a little bit of encouragement that we might be able to get in behind their defence if we can just get that second ball going. As once again, they've now gone long. So it's all just in between the keepers so far. Torfik, he goes long. Reader loses it out there. And uh-oh, this is going to be a Z goal, isn't it? 
Gondaya, Gondaya with the ball. Come on, somebody tackle him. Somebody put some pressure on the lad. Thankfully, that shot is curled just wide of the post. 25 minutes left of the game. Al Saeed gets the ball off our throw in. Radwan crosses it in, but that goes to nobody in a red shirt. And oh, come on, come on, man. You've got to stay on your feet there. As now Antwi is in. If Antwi makes it two, this will be game over. But no, over the bar. We've still got hope, boys and girls. As in fact, you know what? We are going to go 4-2-4. Four, four. We were expected to lose anyway. So we might as well give this a go. As we're going to get... We are going to get Saeed off for our El Sami. And now, is that going to do anything? How tall is El Sami? Is he a target man? Not really, is he? He's 5 foot 10. But you know what? Deep lying forward. That's what we'll go for. And now, come on. Come on. Let us please, please get something out of this game. Oh, 20 minutes left. Hamid gets the ball away. Reader now. Come on, just play the ball long. Yes, Al Sami's got it. Al Sami goes to Hamid. Hamid goes wide. To Reader. Oh, no. There, Al Sami has played it long, and Naguib is in, and well, 2 0. That felt inevitable. Once Naguib got the ball, you just knew it was going directly in the centre of the net. Oh, game over. That, that is disappointing. I, I feel like. We're not a million, million miles away from these. But also, we are. 15 minutes left in the game. El Sami. He goes long for Zed. And now, come on. We just cannot keep hold of this ball. Lela goes to Gondoya. Oh, Naguib is trying to break the offside trap again. Gondoya to Ahmed. To Antwi. Come on, somebody put a tackle in. Oh, that is poor defending, and thankfully that's a very poor shot. Wow, look at them stats. 30 shots to our three. Three minutes left. Please don't score another goal. Please just go easy on us. Come on. El Sami with the ball, and Negrib has got in behind our defence way too easily there. He's hit the post, and it's gone away. Oh, not good. Not good at all. There we are. That is the final whistle. 35 shots Zed had. I think I got this wrong today on the tactics, boys and girls. 35 shots, 2 their 3. 10 on target, 2 their 1. 3.3 XG to our 0.33. Well, you can tell that why that's why they're unbeaten in, what is it, 37 games of football now? I'm going to go hands on hips. Uh, I can't fault you for effort. And everyone's inspired and motivated. So, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. We'll see where that puts us in the league table. And then we shall see where we are going to come back. For the next video. So after that defeat. We have dropped down to 10th in the league. Still obviously on 16 points. Zed are now clear by 4 points. Even though Makasa do have a game in hand. But you would expect Zed to go up. I'm quite surprised they didn't go up last season to be honest. And so with us in 10th. Where shall we come back? We will come back for last game of December. No, we played Nasa Mining recently on the channel, I do believe. So you know what? We'll come back for Al Seca in December. They are 12th in the league so far. We'll see where they are in the next game, in the next video, sorry. And so guys, if you've enjoyed that video, Please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for Football Manager content. Total Extreme Wrestling content. 
bus simulator content now, apparently, and a whole lot of other good stuff. And as well, please comment down below if the audio on this on this video has been any better than any other videos on the channel. Because I have spent £140 on this beautiful... I should really s s swing that round. This beautiful new microphone. So please, please, please do let me know if the audio is any better. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.